Hey guys, well as you can see it's winter here in northern Utah. We had a big, wet, heavy snowstorm that came through. A lot of it smelled it off, but it was a very heavy, icy snow. And you can see right up here, this giant branch came down. And the husband's got quite a bit of it cut up. But it sure fell in a good place. It didn't take out the four-wheeler. It didn't take out my awning, which it could have. It didn't hit our car or the duck boat. So that was good. But the husband's cutting it up. And he's using this uh, long arm electric chainsaw, which is really great. Um, you don't have to worry about mixing gas or if it's going to start wearing yourself out to get it started. He's cutting up some nice sized firewood. And all this stuff, all these small limbs that are breaking off, we're making use of those too. We're uh, piling all of those. We'll gather up all the small ones, but we're piling all those right up here. And you can see that they have already developed the little buds for next year's, this is a maple tree. Um, so they've developed the buds for next year's growth. Uh, this is one of the first foods that the bees have when this pollinates out. It's one of the first pollen sources that they have. So these little buds are full of protein. So I've been just using some pruning shears and uh, cutting off some of these and feeding them to the rabbits. And you can see that they are happily munching away here. Let's see if we can see somebody that's still eating. Let me take a peek. Oh yeah, chew, 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 chew. You can see, you can see, oh, where's the camera? Right there is the branch that I put in. So everybody's eating and that would be, really, that's a, a natural rabbit food in the winter. They eat a lot of browse type things because the leafy plants and the greens just aren't available. In fact, we've got a domesticated rabbit that has become wild. I don't know where it came from, but it comes here in the garden space every day and uh, it comes right over here. It's a beautiful brown rabbit. I'm tempted to catch it and maybe add it to the stock, but I've really enjoyed seeing it in the wild. But you can see these are some suckers that have come up from the bottom of the tree here. It comes over here and nibbles on those every day. Comes out for about an hour, gets some food, and then goes back in the field here and up the hill. And I don't know where it's living, but anyway. So back to the tree. I just was thinking today that these electric chainsaws are really a valuable thing to have on the homestead because if you've ever really needed a chainsaw and you can't get it to start when something like this happens... Uh, I know I'm just going to speak for myself as a woman. I don't have the upper body strength that my husband has. And so, you know, getting one of those babies to start is a, a little bit harder for me than it is for him. And this just makes it so easy. You plug it in and away you go. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, but what if there's a power outage? And I've been thinking some about that. And uh, you remember the video we did about the battery bank. I think it's possible that you could build a battery bank big enough with enough batteries to run one of those and then have a solar panel to charge it up. Now, you might not be able to get the job completely done in one, you know, one work session, but you could keep charging those batteries up and you could eventually, you know, whittle it down and get the job done. So... Something to consider. I'll put a uh, link in the show notes of where you can get one of these extended arm uh, electric chainsaws. Let's show them. Show them the size of that wood, honey. Pick up that log and show them how big of a piece of. Yeah, I mean that's probably six, eight inch log, and it goes right through them. And this particular one. Thanks, babe. This particular one um, is, I don't know who makes the motor, but the, 
the chainsaw bar and the chain itself is made by Oregon, which is a very reputable chainsaw company. So anyway, uh, these kind of things happen in storms. Be prepared, guys. And thanks for checking in, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.